today's the day welcome back to the third moving vlog if you're new here my name's sam i am moving from northeast pennsylvania to wilmington north carolina today today is moving day i've been like looking forward to this day and knowing that it was coming for so long now and i've been like counting down the weeks and it just feels surreal that's finally happening now i'm gonna be totally honest though like since saturday probably i have just been like crying on and off non-stop it's just been like a whole bunch of different emotions but i don't know i woke up this morning i just felt excited so it's good all good things to come almost all packed up literally filled to the brim my car too the most precious cargo <laughs> This is the only stuff that I thought I was going to be able to bring that isn't going to fit. Not too bad. Stopped to get something to eat first, but now I'm about to head on the road. Plug in these directions. 10 hours and 10 minutes. And we have a 12, 14 a.m. arrival time. And I'm sure I'm going to stop a few times. For bathroom breaks, I'm gonna have to get gas. But yeah, Benny is nice and secure and comfy. Here we go. It's so weird. <sighs> Feeling emotional. So, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys in North Carolina. Just got to our Airbnb. It is 2 a.m. on the dot. It took longer to get here than originally anticipated because there was a bunch of traffic. Um, and then, you know, between stopping and everything for bathroom breaks and gas and whatnot. But we're finally here. And honestly, just like driving through time once I got off the highway, it made me really excited. I'm just so happy to be here. I'm gonna sleep on the pullout couch with this guy tonight. I get the keys to my apartment tomorrow. So I'm gonna head over there in the morning. And um, my brother and his girlfriend came down with me tonight. So we're just gonna unpack everything in our two cars tomorrow. And then my parents are coming down tomorrow. They should get here like later on sometime in the evening. But I am just gonna go to bed now. I am exhausted. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello from my new apartment. It's so surreal to be in here and actually see it. Um, when I came and was touring the apartments, I was able to see a unit that was the same size as the one that I got, but the layout was like slightly different. So it's exciting to be in here and actually see my apartment because this whole time I've been trying to envision what it'll look like and you know where I'm gonna put all my furniture and stuff. And I actually like this layout so much better than the one that I toured. Cause this one has an island. So cute, okay. So let me, let me show you. I haven't even walked around yet. Like I literally just walked through the door. So this is the front door where you walk in and it just opens up into like an open concept space. So this is the living room. Hi, hi. Do you like it? You like your new house? Okay, here, let me take this off you. And then the kitchen is in here. I love the floors. Love, so cute. We have an electric stove, oven, microwave. I have a dishwasher, which is so exciting. I love that I have a little island. Oh my God. The layout that I toured, um, it was like closed off here. And this I feel like was a little bit more narrow and the sink was on this side and it was just, like I feel like the kitchen was just smaller. This is gonna be really nice. There's a decent amount of countertop space and storage. I do really like this faucet though. Does this come off? Yes, oh my God. So nice. And I love the mounted microwave because you know, it frees up counter space, which is amazing. We have these high vaulted ceilings, which oh my God, is so beautiful. And then out here we have the patio, balcony, whatever you want to call it. And I'm on the top floor, which is so nice, so I don't have to worry about like hearing loud people above me. And then 
There's this nice tall storage closet. Okay, so then coming down here, I'm gonna guess this is a closet, yep. So I have a little coat closet here. Then we have the bathroom in here. I'm so excited to have a tub and to be able to take baths. The last two places I lived only had like little narrow stand-up showers. So this is gonna be heavenly. And then in the bathroom, I have nice big washer and dryer. Oh my God, this is the most exciting part. And there's a little shelf in here for my detergents and everything. And then I could probably even put a couple more shelves up there or something um, if I need more storage for anything. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, now the bedroom, the final room, and then there's a walk-in closet. Oh, bitch, come on now. This is incredible. <laughs> He's still inspecting. What do you think, Bean? Anyway, I'm gonna start unloading stuff from my car. My brother and his girlfriend are still at the Airbnb. Okay, I got everything out of my car. I'm gonna take a little break now. My brother just called me. They're at, still at the Airbnb. He's making breakfast. He's bringing me something to eat. God bless. Um, and then he's gonna head over here in a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm gonna just try to see what I have and what things I can put away. I have some clothes and some hangers, so maybe I'll start hanging up that. My mom, bless her, what an angel. My whole priority was like, I just need all my shit packed up. I don't care where it goes. Like I'm just throwing things in boxes and bags and I'm just gonna shove it in the car. I just wanna get everything there. Um, but she packed me like a little care package with some paper towels, laundry detergent, soap, dishwasher, pods, garbage bags, wipes. Toilet paper. Good thinking on her part, because I was literally just thinking like, oh, if I have to use a bathroom, I don't even have toilet paper. But I do, because she packed me some. Moms are the best. started putting away some clothes in the closet this was everything that I had in my car and then in the bathroom I just hung up some of my towels I'm actually glad that I got here before everybody else because it's giving me time to at least like put away some stuff it makes it less overwhelming oh, I hope that my brother gets here soon because I'm starting to just like get a headache and feel really tired i think next what i'll do is maybe make a list yes mm -hmm. you want to be in the video mm. i think next i'm going to start making a list of things that i need to buy at the store i'll update you though later once my brother gets here with the rest of my stuff update i'm in my robe now so you know it's really becoming home we unloaded everything that was in my brother's car I've been gradually putting things away. He went out for a little bit, still waiting on my parents to get here. So I started putting away some of the kitchen stuff. I do have two little bar stools that I was gonna bring. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough room in the cars and they weren't a priority. So I decided to just leave them for now, but they'll be really cute once I get them. Good morning. I'm making some coffee. It's Thursday morning. I still don't have a bed, so I stayed at the Airbnb with my brother again last night, and I had to kind of rush over because I am getting my internet hooked up, and they were supposed to come between 10 and 12, but then the guy literally called me at like 8.30 and was like, I'm on my way. It was fine because I already was on my way here, but I was kind of hoping that I would get here and have some time and be able to like shower and stuff. 
but I don't know. We'll see. He, I think he should be here pretty soon, so I'm just going to wait because... I don't want to be in the shower when he gets here obviously my parents are also coming over pretty soon they got here last night around like six ish but by the time they got here they were just exhausted which i don't blame them um that drive can be kind of brutal so they just went straight to their hotel and i was like don't worry about it just like go get something to eat sleep relax so we still have some stuff to unload from their car but i wanted to show you the updates because it's starting to look like an actual home in here so we put together this dresser last night this is from ikea and this is going to go against that wall here in the living room and it's going to be my tv stand it'll give me so much extra storage we also put together well i should say my brother did this he did totally by himself this bookshelf i put together this lamp and then this coffee table I put away more kitchen stuff and I added those things up there. I feel like because the ceiling is so high right here above the cabinets, I should put stuff up there just to kind of like fill in that space. So I don't know. I'm going to get more things to put up there eventually. But for now, I just have that fake plant from Ikea. That sign is from at home. And then my brother and his girlfriend put together the night table for me also from ikea and this is how it's looking <laughs> in the bedroom right now just kind of got bags everywhere hopefully the internet guy should be here soon i can't wait to shower i took a shower yesterday morning but i haven't washed my hair in almost a week it's many hours later i apologize for not vlogging much of the day let's see the internet guy came hooked everything up. Then my parents got here. We carried a couple things up from their car. My bed frame arrived, finally took a shower. And then we were out, we went to Walmart, got a bunch of things, just like basic things I needed, like toilet paper, paper towels, etc. And then we went couch shopping and I wasn't planning on buying one right away. I was planning on like going to multiple stores and you know, looking at multiple different couches, but we ended up going into an Ashley home store. I just found a couch that I absolutely fell in love with and the price was so good for what it is. I got a couple of clips while we were there, but the one that I ended up getting, I feel like the video just doesn't even do it justice because the lighting in that part of the store was like really dark and very warm. So you can't even really tell the color of it and like the texture, but it's like the most unique couch. The fabric of it is literally like a blanket it's so so soft and cozy and it's really deep the only thing that sucks is she said that it's going to take probably like two months for it to come in so i'm gonna be without a couch for quite a while but my bed frame came today so i have a bed so i'll be able to sleep here tonight which is exciting i ended up going to target and getting an air mattress so i don't even have my real mattress yet that is actually supposed to be arriving on monday so yeah this is how the bedroom's looking so far my dresser is still in my parents car we've just been putting off carrying it up here <laughs> but that's gonna go against this wall here i might push this over a little bit more i'm not entirely sure once i get everything unpacked and everything's in here then i will figure out exactly how i want to arrange everything and then here is the living room. My dad hung these curtains up for me. So everybody went back to where they're staying for the night. And then in the morning, everyone's gonna meet back here. We're gonna finally unload that damn dresser from my parents' car. And then that'll be the last thing that we have to move. I am going to lay in bed now, get comfy, because my whole body is so sore. I am so tired. I just feel very run down. I think I'm gonna maybe make some hot tea and watch the new Sex in the City. Hello, hello, good evening. It is Saturday night. I don't even remember the last thing I vlogged. Oh, I think I got a couple clips 
Um, my dad was helping me put up these curtains and he put these shelves up in the bathroom for me. Very exciting. I know I haven't really been vlogging very much these last few days because um, it's just been very chaotic. Like a lot of running around, going to different stores, unpacking, putting stuff away, and also just trying to spend time with my family. So, you know, like pulling out the camera, vlogging, was honestly just not even on my mind at all. My parents just left. We all went out to dinner and they headed back to their hotel and they're gonna leave early in the morning. So I said my goodbyes to them and I'm like kind of feeling emotional, but I'm trying to just not think about it. And my brother is still here. He went back to his Airbnb for a little bit and then we're gonna hang out again later tonight and then he's not going back till Monday morning, so he'll still be here for another day. I think once he leaves though, it's gonna really start to sink in that I'm just here on my own. So yeah, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I've just been trying to like stay busy. You know, there's been so much to do and so much distracting me. So I've just been trying to stay excited and positive, but it's definitely an emotional time, but we'll see how I feel. The next vlog will probably be like my first week here by myself and I'll check in and let you know how I'm feeling. Right now, I wanted to put some stuff away because everything is now done. All of my furniture is in here for the most part. I, I'm still waiting on my couch and my mattress actually, which by the way, the air mattress, is holding up amazingly and it's been really comfortable but mattress and couch are the only things that I am waiting on now but we brought my dresser up here finally my dad helped me put those shelves up in the bathroom like I said so now I can start putting stuff away and I've been really wanting to desperately because I still have stuff all over the floor in the bedroom and I really want to just put this stuff away so I can declutter in here. So yeah, let's start actually in the bathroom. Here's a better look at the shelves here. These shelves, by the way, getting like wall-mounted shelves can be kind of expensive. I just go to Lowe's and you can literally just get these boards of wood. These were about like $6 each and then these brackets were like a dollar and change each. So I'm gonna start putting stuff away on there. I also have my little cart over here from Amazon. I'm gonna put stuff on here as well. And then I need to organize under the sink a little bit better. making some progress not completely finished but things are coming along so and by the way I don't know if, that I'm definitely gonna keep everything where it is but this is just for now you know I'm trying to figure it out where does everything fit best what makes the most sense what's gonna be the most functional but also like look nice so anyway here is how the shelves are looking right now um, these little acrylic jars I got all of them together in a pack from Amazon Fake plant from Ikea. That little sign is from at home. Got my toothbrush up there. Skincare all down here. This little tray is from Target from like the little front $5 section. This basket is super old. Don't know where it's from, but I have all my washcloths folded in there. This basket is from Walmart and I just have like some feminine products. And then this cart 
like I said, is from Amazon. So I put my hair products and some like body creams and stuff up here so they're easy to grab. Down here I have my blow dryer and my flat iron, just the hot tools that I use the most often. And then down here I wasn't sure what to put so I just put extra toilet paper for now. Down here I have this basket with just a bunch of extra things, cleaning products, some of Benny's stuff, some extra um, shampoos and like hair treatments and stuff. Up here, this is definitely, like I definitely want to make this look a little bit nicer. This little acrylic tower thing is from Amazon. I put most of my makeup on here. I need to get some kind of more aesthetically pleasing jars or something for my brushes but I just put them in these little acrylic organizers for now. All my perfumes, my sunglasses, and jewelry. I definitely want to keep all of these things on here because I feel like that's the best place for them, but I just need to figure out a way to lay it all out so that it just looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and add some decor pieces and whatnot. But for now, like I said, I just kind of wanted to like get things put away and somewhat organized. And then out here, this is the dresser that I am using as my TV stand, which by the way, I got my TV today. Very exciting. So I have some extra stuff in here. I got these drawer organizers from Ikea, which is where the dresser is from. And I tried to just organize this as best as I could, like extra skincare stuff. And then we have like nails and hair stuff in here. And then I also have like office kind of stuff in these drawers, like electronics and whatnot. So I'm really, really happy that I got this dresser because I needed the extra storage. My brother texted me that he is coming back over. I think we're gonna go out and get some drinks. I'm gonna pull myself together a little bit, look a little nicer, and then I will see you in the morning and we will finish putting all this stuff away. Cause I definitely, definitely, definitely need to put these clothes away. Hello, good morning. I don't know what is with this hair. Saturday night, the last time I vlogged, <laughs> I ended up going out downtown with my brother and his girlfriend and it was so much fun, but I just drank way too much. And yeah, yesterday I was pretty much in bed all day with the worst hangover ever. All I was doing all day was throwing up and sleeping. One of those days where like I couldn't even hold down water, I would take a few sips of water and just immediately projectile vomit. Fun times! And uh, yeah, I'm honestly still kind of feeling it a little bit today, but I took Benny out for a walk this morning and we ended up meeting another dog that is also a pit bull mix that is the exact same age as him like literally born the same month and everything. I think they're like a week or two apart. And they were like the same exact size. It was just so perfect. And they were playing so well together. And his owner is also from up north and moved here a few months ago, I think she said. And she's also a hairdresser. I was like, what are the chances? I've been meeting like a few different people here and there um, in this apartment complex and everyone's just been so nice and I think having a dog makes it so easy to meet people and it just makes me feel like really optimistic. My brother headed back home this morning so I am now officially down here by myself and I mean who knows we'll see like how the rest of this week goes but I really thought that today I would wake up and it would hit me that like I'm really here and my family's not here and that I would feel like sad or anxious and I really don't I feel good and I just feel happy and I think meeting that girl this morning um just really like reassured me that I'm gonna be fine and I will meet people and make friends and create a life down here. It sounds like she actually knows a lot of people and she moved down here knowing no one. But I just made myself some coffee. I'm gonna have a little breakfast. 
and then I am gonna put all these clothes away once and for all I wanted to do it yesterday but that did not happen and my mattress was supposed to be coming today but I checked the tracking and it hasn't updated it doesn't say that it's like out for delivery or anything so I kind of have a feeling that it won't be coming till later in the week so much better in here i put this rug in here it was the biggest pain in the ass to do by myself because it's such a big rug and i know i should have put it in here before even putting the bed together um but i didn't so and the room just looks so much more put together and more complete because i was kind of like i don't know if i should bother putting a rug because obviously it's carpeted i don't technically need it but i feel like for a design purpose it really makes the room feel more finished and i have a bunch of like nice pillows that i got for my bed but i'm gonna wait till i get my real mattress and then i will really like make the bed complete and i feel like that alone is gonna make a huge difference in how the room looks but i just love how bright and airy and neutral it is in here I might maybe get some artwork or something to put above the bed on that wall because it feels a little bit bare but I'm gonna wait till my real mattress comes and I have all my pillows there because I don't know it might end up being too much we'll see I put Benny's crate back here in this corner I wasn't really sure where I wanted to put that but I think that's the best place because it's kind of tucked away so you can't really see it I put this sad depressing plant over here I'm gonna fix her up a little bit and revive her a bit but i just stuck it in that corner for now i think i like it over there i need to still figure out what i'm doing up here this basket is from home goods i just threw all of benny's toys in there and i put my tall mirror from ikea which i need to clean it's very very dirty and the closet is getting there I ended up having to leave behind a big giant basket full of hangers at my parents' house because there just wasn't enough room in the cars. So I have some clothes that I don't have hangers for. But I got mostly everything put away in here. I'm going to get some shoe racks to put on the ground over here for all of my shoes. But for now I just have them thrown in that laundry basket. And I got these drawers all nice and organized. So that feels really good. I was really struggling the last couple of days trying to find clothes because everything was still in bags. So now it's nice that everything's put away, but it's really coming along. It's starting to look super cute in here. I cannot wait for my couch to arrive. So then it'll really feel finished and like a home. But yeah, I think I am going to wrap up this vlog here. I just need to sit down and eat something and just chill take a shower maybe i'll take a bath 
and then I need to edit this video. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what videos you want to see in the future. I know a lot of you guys were saying that you wanted to see the process of me like switching my cosmetology license over and growing my clientele and starting over somewhere new. I definitely will be sharing that once I get around to it. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you want to see and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.